Hi, Janie Finlay here. It's getting late and we're all about to go inside and put the boys to bed. This evening, I've recorded a short story for you about Teps in the Night. I hope you all enjoy it and the rest of the program. Teps in the Night, written by Dr Jane Foster, illustrated by Aleski Katzenov. Max was a cool dude. He'd just turned six and was feeling pretty good about himself. Everyone loved him. But he had a secret, which was starting to become a problem. It was something that happened almost every night. He'd wake up and hear something. Just an everyday noise like the wind making his window rattle. But in the middle of the night, it made him feel scared. So he'd run to his parents' room and get into bed with them. His mum would help calm him down and make him feel safe. Once he was calm, he would make his way back to his own bed. This was making everyone tired. But worst of all, he didn't feel comfortable enough to sleep over at his friend's house. Max's mum could see that this was becoming a real problem. He was always expecting her to make him feel better. She had become his only pet. But what if she wasn't there? She realised that if he was at his friend's house, he wouldn't want to run into his friend's parents' bedroom in the middle of the night. Max's mum could see that by lifting Max off his scared road all the time, he was never going to learn how to take control all by himself when she wasn't there. So she and Max sat down one afternoon to discuss the problem. They discussed how important it was that Max learn to drive on rough roads while he was still safe at home. That if he was able to take control on that scared road, his driving skills would improve and he would build his resilience. They talked about what pets Max could use if he woke up and was scared in the middle of the night. He could think of quite a few. His mum felt that if he had too many, he wouldn't know which one to choose. Out of all the things he had thought of, he chose the three best ones to use when he was in bed at night. He decided that before he even used a pet, he would take a deep breath. His mum pointed out that breathing was a pet too. Max's first pet was going to be to hug his teddy and sing to him. His mum suggested that they should work out what he would sing because when he was scared, he may not be able to think of a song. He chose his favourite song from preschool, Let It Be, because his bear would like that too. His second pet would be to spin the solar system he had hanging in his room. And he and Teddy would lie back and watch it together. His third pet would be to drink some water with his curly straw. Max found that it was so much better thinking about pets when it was still daylight because then he wasn't scared. He found that when he was scared, he just couldn't think. His mum also made sure that he knew that if he was really scared and if his pets weren't working, she would always be there for him. Max was excited about going to bed that night. It felt so different now that he knew ways of taking control of his own steering wheel. He also felt no pressure about having to make this work. He and his mum had decided that it might take a while to get used to. That night, when he went to bed, he made sure he had his teddy, the solar system and a big glass of water with his fun straw in it. Max went to sleep. He suddenly woke in the middle of the night. There was a big wind outside blowing his curtains. He immediately went straight onto the rough red road. He was scared. He felt himself lose control of his steering wheel and was steering all over the place. Max remembered to take a deep breath. He 
He then reached for his teddy. He began to sing the song he made Teddy Dance to the Rhythm. He laughed as Teddy's legs bounced all over the place. Suddenly he realised that he had regained control of his steering wheel. He wasn't scared anymore. He now understood that the sound he had heard was just the wind. He felt so excited that he still ran into his parents' room, woke his mum and said, I did it! I sang to Teddy and regained control of my steering wheel. I can go on rough roads because I'm a better driver now. He then went back to bed and fell asleep with a smile on his face. Did he get scared again? Of course he did. But now he knew what to do. Sometimes he would only need Teddy to regain control. Sometimes he used all three pets. But more importantly, he now felt confident enough to go and stay at his friend's house. The first few times he went, he took Teddy with him. But now he just asks for a glass of water and places it next to him when he sleeps. Max's mum is so proud of him. And Max is proud of himself too. Occasionally, when he has a really bad dream, he comes in for a hug. And that's okay, because you never lose control. How can you expect to learn to regain control? Max's pets change too. As he grows older, he's finding that different pets work better in different situations. Max now knows how to regain control of his steering wheel on all types of rough roads. He believes that he is ready for his advanced driving course because he knows that life will always bring challenges and that's okay. Each time he regains control, it makes him a better driver. He also knows that it's okay to ask for help when his pets don't work. Well done, Max. Ideas for parents and carers. It doesn't matter what age you are, many of us suffer from not being able to sleep. Ask yourself and your children about the tips that influence you to lose control in the night. Share your tips and your experiences of not being able to sleep. Take a moment now to think of some pets that each of you could use. They may be the same as Max's or completely different. But they need to be personal, ones that will work for you. Whatever they are, remember to keep them close so that you have power to regain control of your steering wheel no matter where you are or what road you may be on. If you do have trouble sleeping and find it hard to work out your pets, share it with someone. Remember, you're not failing if you're on a rough red road. You just need to regain control. Then you can in increase your driving skills and build your resilience. And that's a good thing. That's what makes TEPS so exciting. <laughs>